January 2022. Welcome back. It doesn't even feel like a new year, but I think I've probably only had about two weeks into the new year because the first two weeks I don't really class because unfortunately I got good old vid, COVID, so I was in isolation for about two weeks, which is good to sit back and smell the roses. But this year, bigger things coming. Target, again, I'm going to hit 100 sales. That is my target. I hit 96 last year, four away, so I'm definitely going to hit it this year. I can feel it. Um, two weeks into the new year, we've started off with, I think, seven sales, six listings, something like that. So a decent start to the year. Um, again, a lot of big things, a lot of big projects, a lot of big properties coming up, a lot of amazing clients coming up, coming up that doesn't make sense. Anyway, can't wait for the new year. And um, yeah, let's just see, uh, see how we go. Alrighty, 37 Tilbrook Street in Chapel Hill. Uh, this property here is five bedrooms, two bathrooms, two car accommodation, sitting on 710 square meters. This home is going to auction in a couple of weeks time. We're just doing the preparation work now before we hit the market. So looking forward to getting this one sold. Um, and of course, another crack of a listing, perfect for uh, probably a renovator. So let's check it out. Alrighty, 18 Thorn Street, Peninsula Apartments, Kangaroo Point. Uh, we've had two in here. We've had a two bedroom, which we sold in the second week. Settled just recently as well. We had 42 groups for the property. Sold for 580, fantastic results. And of course, a one bedroom, level 502. Level 502, unit 502. Um, that one there, under contract in the first week, and we had nine groups through in the first week. Interesting enough, three years ago, they were selling for about 320. We've got it under contract in the early fours, so fantastic result. Alrighty, 188 Shaston Avenue, which is Shaston College there as well. Studio apartments, 21 square meters. Absolutely tiny, but fantastic investments. Uh, we've just sold that one cash unconditional. Wait for the price, 123,000. Yes, 123,000. Again, they're very tiny units, but yield about a 10% return. So uh, really good investment opportunities in there as well. Driving down Ferry Street now. This is my favorite part, ready? I don't know why they have like three speed bumps. Like one speed bump is definitely sufficient, but anyway. It's actually one of the original parts of Kangaroo Point, Dockside Precinct. Um, they've got a few different uh, little boutique things down here, restaurants, cafes, little convenience store. And on the left, you've got um, Dockside Hotel, um, so 44 for, for, oh, Good chat, Michael. Anyway, 44 Ferry Street, uh, got a, another one bedroom under contract there in the early threes as well. Uh, again, pretty decent result for that one. And even this precinct has developed a bit more over the last couple of years. You got the lawn, which um, a lot of people go to. So at the front of the hotel, you got this nice little boutique cafe restaurant sort of style, live music every so often. So it's a good little vibe. And um, just tucked behind, Woolworths has officially been approved, I think. So that's very, very exciting, which you can't really see, but it's on this block up here. And there goes a thousand speed bumps. But if I speed up, beep, um, right there. Just imagine Woolworths. So just don't imagine land, just imagine Woolworths. And that's it. Cool, good chat. All right, next one. What we've got is greenery on the left and we've got 23 Quinton cottages. A one bedroom, one bathroom, no jokes, a two bedroom, one bathroom apartment. Quite tiny, great investment. Sold in the early 400s. That's it, thank you. This gives me good memories. So 36 Anglesley Street in Kangaroo Point. First established myself in there a couple of years ago when I sold a property. It was a different market then because it was very hard to sell apartments. Average days were about 92, 100 days. And now it's a lot quicker. I sell my average for a week to two weeks. But anyway, I've got a two bedroom there coming up as well. So that's to one of my good clients, Ella, who reached out on Instagram as well. And uh, that should be a cracker. But when I first sold in that building, I did a video with KFC behind us and gave the buyer, Jess, who I still keep in contact with quite a lot. Here's some little screenshots of me with KFC. So we've got another one bedroom in here launching actually today. So looking forward to that getting, oh, yeah, looking forward to getting a great result for that. And um, yeah, fingers crossed, a shout out to Anastasia, who's the on-site manager, who referred the client through. Really then, I got the bag, tell a friend. She got some ass, bring it in. Bitch on the nose, CNN. Yeah. Really then, I got the bag, tell a friend. She 
All right, now we're down from the rooftop. There's a couple of more sales. We just don't have time to get two today. Uh, one in Newstead, again, that client actually sold one for her end of last year as well in our favorite building, well, one of our favorite buildings, Connor Street, which you saw us plenty of times in last year. Um, so Newstead, that's under contract uh, in the circa mid threes. And of course, we've also got, uh, actually, here's the video of it, negotiating it. We've just had another conversation uh, and we couldn't get 360, but we managed to get 365. Oh my god! Well, that's a bit better, isn't it? It is. So well done. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, that's fantastic. And also one in Kedron. Uh, I get another good client of mine, Ben. So congratulations. He was very happy with it. And this is when I was actually in Airlie Beach. I was still away at the moment, still working in between. And this is me sitting in the back of a Ute trying to negotiate a deal. And you can tell by his reaction, he was very happy with it. Did you out there? Hey, mate. It's Michael. Hey, gum. Good, good. Got some good news. Yes. So I've had another long conversation with the buyer, yep. and I've managed to get them up to three sixty. Three sixty. Yep. That's amazing. So, <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so much, mate. That's uh, yeah. That's a fantastic plot. Very pleased. Thank you. Alrighty, we are in Pixel Factory HQ, about to do my gifts. So we've got the screen behind, we've got the boys behind about to set up for it. So looking forward to getting them out soon. But again, great start to the year. And of course, looking forward to next month. Let's fucking go. I've been dealing with some whack motherfuckers. Make a backstab, make a feel the pain like I'm a jackass Hit it, I'm living, I'm ripping out the page They've been asking where the rap's at I don't need the bread, I'ma give it to the fan Get a job done like Cash Rabbit Puff on the gas, I cannot find a passion No my cash shot, third date Looking at coins like, what am I doing like